This is Dan Passarelli of Market Taker Mentoring here on the floor of the CME Group. Well, one of the trades we talked about today in our Market Taker Live Advantage Group Coaching class was in GMCR. Take a look at a chart of GMCR. Uh, if you're a long-term investor, it doesn't look like a really good chart. This stock has been in a downtrend for oh, about a year now, but the good news is it looks like it has hit some support and got a little bit of a bounce that I think is going to continue. Now the stock hit about $55 a share and has bounced higher. I'm sure not thinking that we're gonna make back of all the gains we lost for the past year, but I think the stock can move a little bit higher, maybe up to about the $60 a share level. Now, I wanna play this very conservatively. I wanna risk as little as possible. I need to, of course, look at the implied volatility picture because we've got an option trade going on here. So look at the implied volatility picture, and it's actually kind of interesting. Implied volatility is below historical volatility, which you're not seeing a lot of lately and a lot of names out there. But in this case, options are actually pretty cheap. So I'm okay doing an option buying strategy. I've got limited upside potential. Uh, I think the stock can only get up to about 60 bucks a share. Uh, and I wanna risk as little as possible. So, oh geez, what kind of strategy would I use here? Simple. The strategy that fits perfect into my market forecast is a debit call spread, specifically buying the September 5760 call spread in GMCR. I like buying that for $1.50 or less. Now, this is a nice trade because if it works out and I get the bounce that I'm looking for over the next three weeks or so to, until expiration, I can double my money on this trade. Uh, I'm only risking $1.50. If it looks like the stock is gonna head back down and for sure if it breaks through support, I would simply close the trade early so I could limit my losses, you know, kind of like a little bit of a mental stop loss here. And if the stock falls below, uh, well, if it falls below 55, I'm definitely out of the trade early. I risk just a little, a fraction, you know, maybe up to 50% of my maximum capital at risk. So the risk reward here is good. The setup is really nice. The implied volatility is really nice. I think this is one of the strongest trades that I'm seeing out there in the market right now. This is Dan Passarelli of MarketTaker.com here on the floor of the CMA Group.